Hey guys, what's up? I'm Mark and in this channel, I talk a little bit about lifestyle, but I mostly talk about business and investments. Sometime in May 2022, I made this video about investing just $1 daily in the S&P 500. Now it's been a little over one year already. I want to report to you guys how this investment is going. Is it in fact effective or is it just tedious and a waste of time? This experiment is about spreading your cost average in a way that you don't really have to think about. I got this suggestion from one of my viewers and said, would it be effective if he would invest 50 pesos or $1 daily? And out of the many funds available out there, I decided that perhaps it was best to do this with the S&P 500, which has been the benchmark index for decades already. So that's just a refresher. I'm sure you guys are curious how my investment has been faring. So let me quit this intro and get to you the numbers. Let's go. So I'll be presenting to you my investment in the S&P 500, specifically the Vanguard S&P 500 or the VOO again in the past year. The platforms that I'm using are GoTrade and Shari Shari. But for full disclosure, since this is a daily tedious process, I have to admit that there were days that I missed. I would say that for 80% of the time, I was able to invest in this $1 regularly and also full disclosure for my position via GoTrade. I already had some starting position on this before I started doing the $1 experiment. So this wouldn't be 100% accurate. Excuse me for a little variance on what the total amount really should have been. But for the most part, the data on my experiment should capture the overall trend on how this investment strategy eventually works out. So let's get our results. This video is being shot on July 18, 2023, uh, just for your reference. So for my Vanguard 500 position via GoTrade, my total returns are at 11.58%. My total investment here would be $262.16. So from my investment of about $235, my returns are at a little over $27. So let's move on to Shari Shari. My investments in Shari Shari are a little less. If you caught my video on Shari Shari about three months back, so that's when I started really using Shari Shari more. That's why my investments here are a little lower. So for my investments, again, through the Vanguard S&P 500 ETF, through Shari Shari, my returns are at 7.91%. My total position here would be $89.57. So the return of 7.91% actually amounts to $6.57. With these returns, can we conclude that this investment strategy is in fact effective? Well, in many cases, yes. Um, however, I think that the timing of this update video is just really working out for the S&P 500. When I made that video last year, the markets were really down. And since these last few months in 2023, the market has really caught an upswing. So in as much as it's producing great results, I will still give you that caution that um, we're actually at a good time at the market right now. There's no guarantee that this will be maintained. As we've seen in the market, this can go down and perhaps we may even be looking at negative returns again at some point. These historical results are not telling of future results. I mean, if you did this right now and you check your data one year later in 2024, I'm not guaranteeing that you're gonna get the same results, but this investment strategy is really to make it simple to take out the decision-making process when to invest and just do it daily for as little as possible. I guess the bigger question is, will I continue to do it? The short answer is yes. Um, I'm happy with the strategy. I don't really have to look into too much analysis of anything. But the thing is, I have to change the investment platforms that I use. If you caught my video a few weeks ago about the changes in fees of GoTrade, there are unfortunately some shifts that need to happen with this current investment approach that I'm doing. Case in point, I can no longer use GoTrade with the updated fees wherein they are now charging 0.3% or 10 cents for every transaction. So effectively, if you continue this $1 daily investing via GoTrade, you're actually just investing 90 cents. And from your $1 transaction, you are actually taking a 10% fee for every time that you do this. So of course, this will not work. Those fees are too high. Sad to say that GoTrade is no longer really pushing 
their value proposition of being able to invest as little as one dollar i mean i guess yes you can do it but with those fees it's just not worthwhile anymore to be spending so little so for those fees of 0.3 percent per transaction it's only really worthwhile if you are coming in at least $10 per position. So effectively, it's similar now to eToro wherein the minimum is also $10. I think little by little, GoTrade is losing its value proposition that made it so different from its competitors. So while I can no longer recommend using GoTrade for this daily $1 investing strategy, where you can continue to do this since they don't have these trading fees that GoTrade has newly implemented, you can continue to do this $1 investing strategy through Shari Shari. So aside from doing this with Shari Shari, what I can also recommend based on new investment minimums would be doing this via BPI Wealth. As of July, subsequent investments in global BPI UITFs can be in as little as $1. Uh, specifically, it's the US Equity Feeder Fund that I invest in. But just as a disclosure as well, um, the BPI US Equity Feeder Fund is tracking the Spider S&P 500 rather than the Vanguard S&P 500. Um, if you are particular on that, then there would be some variances there. But for the most part, both are tracking the S&P 500, which for me personally is negligible already in terms of difference. Uh, that's just my own view on it. And I guess for a purpose of transparency, so BPI would actually charge a per annum trust fee of 0.75%. Um, I know that may stand in the way of you choosing Shari Shari or BPI, but I will have some bias in using BPI a little bit more. I guess just for my traditional approach, I still keep my investments in the banks or funds that are run by banks for whatever purpose that I need to prove my proof of income. May it be a loan or a visa or whatever official documentation wherein you need to show your position or your capacity to pay. But of course, I'm not eliminating using these new technologies. In fact, my reviews are really based on these new technologies that are really pushing the boundaries of investments. These technologies are what's pushing the banks to adapt, to lower their minimums because of Gcash, Ginvest, and these other technology providers. They really have revolutionized the approach to investing. And you know, we're just beneficiaries of all this. We have better choices, better investment options at our disposal because they are making investments easier for us. So what do you think about this investing strategy? Do you think it's too tedious? Let me know in the comment section. If you like this video, please don't forget to like, comment, and consider subscribing if you haven't already. Thanks again for watching, guys, and happy investing.